All right, Julian Assange, the WikiLeaks founder and the target of the rape allegations, joins me now on the line. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Mr. Assange. First off, your reaction uh, to the events of the last 24 hours. The Swedish authorities issuing an arrest warrant for you and then withdrawing it. What do you think about this? Well, I was just busy in, my, in the morning writing um, my column of one of the Swedish newspapers and and looked at the news to see that I had uh, an arrest warrant out for a double rape. And that information then spread uh, all over the world incredibly quickly. I had no contact with police before. None of our people uh, were aware of this. And then the uh, charge and the warrant is withdrawn six hours later. Uh, this seems to be the height of irresponsibility uh, to put that out. Now, we were warned on the 11th by um, Australian intelligence that uh, we would would uh, expect this sort of thing, um, and they, they had some concerns that huh. uh, we would have something like that. Now, we have no direct evidence um, at this stage uh, that, uh, that this is um, an intelligence operation or being influenced by intelligence operation, but there, uh, certainly the surrounding context uh, is disturbing, and some other people are making uh, that allegation that have spoken to... Um, uh, who say they had spoken to Swedish intelligence and the prosecutor's office. So you think this is a smear campaign against you? What evidence do you have to, to, to suggest this? Well, it, it, is clearly a, it is clearly a smear campaign, uh, and we can see that the material was, the allegation was withdrawn on, on six hours later. Uh, the only question is uh, who was involved. Um, and, and who do you um, think is involved? Well, we... we can you know, have some suspicions about um, who, who would benefit. Um, but without the direct evidence, I mean, I, I would not be willing to make a direct allegation, but other, other people are making those allegations. All right, well, the Swedish authorities, Mr. Assange, have withdrawn the rape uh, charges, or the, rape, the, rape, the arrest warrant for rape anyway, but you are still under investigation for claims of sexual molestation. What, what's your reaction to this? Well, we have no, no, I have no details on what that, what that is about, but um, I cannot imagine any event where that would be credible. Mm. Have um, you been... I, I, assume, I assume just that they say that they are investigating it like they investigated the other claim. They found the other claims to not be credible. They're investigating this one. I assume they'll also find it to not be credible. Have the Swedish authorities been in contact with you? No, they have not. And have you contacted them? Um, I have instructed uh, my lawyer to contact them, and we will try and set up uh, some and way of... So where are you right now, Mr. Assange? I'm on holiday right now. I'm in, in uh, north of Sweden. North of Sweden. Where exactly? I don't know the, the name All right. of the town. Okay. Uh, do, do you believe, uh, you, you said before that you believe that this was part of a, a smear campaign. Uh, w again, do you have any evidence? What, what sort of evidence do you have to suggest this? I did not say this was part of a smear campaign, um, but rather that we had been warned of the impending smear campaign. campaign. Certainly we have had smear cam campaigns um, previously. Um, we were warned specifically about 30 trigger damage, specifically uh, that they would uh, be of a type um, like this. Um, but we don't have direct evidence uh, that this is um, coming from uh, U.S. or other intelligence. Uh, clearly, clearly it is a smear campaign of some kind uh, because the material was quickly dropped within six hours. So you are threatening, uh, Mr. Assange, to release more uh, documents related to the Afghan war. When can we expect that to happen and what new revelations should we expect? Within the next two to four weeks, most of our work so far has been spent on the harm minimization review. Uh, we have yet to do the um, strong journalistic work, although that has been done. Excuse me. Um, so, I mean, there's very significant material in there. Um, some of that material has been previously seen uh, by, for example, the, Sun the Sunday Times. Mm. Uh, other material is new. And what, can you tell us, tell me a bit more about uh, some of the revelations that are in what you're going to be releasing? I'm sorry, can you repeat that question? What exactly are you going to be telling us in this new batch of documents that you're planning to release? Well, you'll, you'll have to wait and see like, like the rest of them. Okay, uh, I, I just th thought I'd try anyway. Uh, can, can you uh, uh, tell us 
perhaps if you checked in this next uh, batch of documents that are going to be released, uh, if you check to make sure that no innocent parties are going to be targeted, because we heard the U.S. Defense uh, Secretary Robert Gates said after the first documents were released, the first yeah. 90,000 pages, that well, you had that's blood that's on your hands. That's, that's an extraordinary thing to hear a comment like this from a man like that who is waiting uh, his whole life in blood. Um, our release documented that there's 20,000 people killed uh, in that war uh, on both sides, and and hundreds uh, of clear cases of uh, previously unreported uh, civilian kill killings by the United States military. Um, that is uh, simply a distraction from the issue. The Pentagon uh, so far says that is not we're aware of any incident of uh, people coming to harm uh, by what we have released. At the time of the release, we took aside 15,000 documents that we believe uh, needed extra careful review. Um, and those are the documents that we're reviewing and the ones that will be released. All right. Uh, just coming back to the, the case in Sweden, in Sweden now for a second, what would you tell Swedish authorities right now uh, who are possibly still investigating you for claims of molestation? What would you tell them? So, well, any such claims are completely untrue, uh, and they should be aware that there are um, the significant forces uh, that try to they give rise to various claims about this organization. This is the first um, sexual-related one we've had, but uh, we have seen 14 fabricated documents, as an example, that have been appeared in various places about this organization, which have been shown to be clear fakes. Um, so there, there are significant forces um, uh, pushing to perceive things in a particular way. But we, we were just asked that uh, they be cautious and not... Uh, issue statements and retract them um, a, mere, a mere six hours later. But when dealing with such a serious situation, um, make, check their facts and make sure their ground is firm. Are you arranging a meeting with the prosecution in Sweden and, and when is that going to happen? My lawyers are, are trying to do that. Um, I, I assume that, that maybe on Monday, maybe, maybe Swedish prosecutors will drop everything by then. And they seem to be um, if the, the previous charge is any indication, um, they may drop that uh, before it is necessary to me, uh, for me to return from holiday. All right. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us, Mr. Assange, Julian Assange, the founder of the WikiLeaks website, reacting there to the claims made in Sweden about uh, possible molestation.